We're following up on a fire that destroyed part of an apartment complex and left 60 people without a home. This happened in the early morning hours on Thursday at the Sonora Apartments on Sam Rayburn Drive. The Austin Fire Department says the fire caused an estimated $1.5 million in damage, and that's just to the building. Sally Hernandez explains how you can help. We have Dwight Bailey Jr., the director, executive director of the Austin Disaster Relief Network. Thank you so much for, for joining us and talking to us about this latest fire at the Sonora Apartments that caused more than a million dollars in damage. But the damage to the people who are left without a home and belongings is a lot. What are you doing to help? Yeah, thank you, Sally. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, well, we are coming alongside uh, over 50 people who've been devastated uh, by this crisis. And so immediately uh, we will come around them tomorrow. We'll have uh, an, an intake center at the Austin Disaster Relief headquarters where we'll provide uh, hygiene kits and other physical uh, types of needs that they might have. We'll try to meet those and then we'll offer uh, some financial assistance as well as our whole family thrift store. There's access to, to clothing and, and things of that nature for the short term. And then longer term, we provide uh, emotional and spiritual support that really try to help these folks get back on their feet for the long term. We know that you're a nonprofit that relies on donations to help people recover from devastating events and how are your resources and donations because i know you responded to another apartment fire in cedar park earlier this month absolutely we are completely reliant upon generous donors to help us to do what we do and that's an area of need and opportunity so uh, you can go on our landing page and, and donate to help us to support these folks with these immediate needs that they have okay and last question dwight Tell me a little bit about the people who have lost their belongings, um, what it's like when they go to the intake center and they get help from you. Absolutely. Uh, well, these are very real people. They, they, these are our neighbors right here in our own community. And when you hear folks just like us who one day uh, things are fine and literally overnight, they're devastated. And so by the time we get the opportunity to speak with them uh, two or three days in, uh, the emotional uh, and, and, and the needs that they have are, are pretty overwhelming. So to have people that can listen and to try to just be present for them uh, during that time of debriefing is, is pretty overwhelming. But we are, we are committed to bringing hope to these dear folks in the middle of this crisis. And we will link your website to our website at kxan.com. Thank you again for joining us.